Welcome to Faith Lessons. This is Dr. Scott Stripling, Provost at the Bible Seminary, and this is the Book of Judges. The Book of Judges is set just after the Book of Joshua, and if we were to read the Book of Joshua in isolation, we would get the idea that the, the Israelites conquered the entire land in a period of about six and a half years. But when we read the Book of Judges, we get the rest of the story that, yes, they did have an initial conquest in which they were able to gain a foothold, but it took many generations for them to possess their possessions and to inherit their inheritance. And that's part of today's faith lesson is that God does some amazing things for us immediately as we begin to walk with Him. But it's over time that other blessings are worked out in our lives. So let's just kind of set the stage for the book of Judges. This is a period that we would call the Iron Age I period, roughly from, say, uh, 1300 to the year 1000 or thereabouts, but the Iron One would be a little tighter, maybe 1200 to, to 1000. But this is the period when the tabernacle is at Shiloh, where this is the center of Israelite life and worship. And this is a period where there is a decentralized government in Israel. God's plan was that they would see him as their king, as their executive, and that they would look to him um, and he would then raise up leaders in, in times of crisis. Sadly, the book of Judges reveals to us a cycle of apostasy. And so this cycle repeats itself throughout the book where people are, are in covenant with God and walking with God. They begin to turn their hearts away from God. They begin to apostatize and even worship other gods. God raises up uh, wicked people to chastise them and even bring them into bondage from which they then cry out to God and God delivers them. And so this is that sad cycle of apostasy that runs repeatedly throughout the book. But these deliverers are people whose many of them names you will recognize like Gideon and Samson, Deborah, the, the great uh, female judge of Israel, uh, who along with Barak delivers the people. And uh, Jephthah, of course, is mentioned in the New Testament, and it's Jephthah in Judges 11 who gives us a, a chronological point where he says, my, my people have already been here for 300 years, and this is around the year 1100, and that then helps us synchronize our chronology for that time period. The larger lessons of the book of Judges, I think that we bring into our life today, is that we are accountable to God. And the Bible says that in the days of the judges, each man did what was right in his own eyes. In other words, he made up the rules for himself and there was a lack of accountability. And I think we live in a, a time when that's very much the zeitgeist or the spirit of the age. No one wants to be accountable to God. Much of the work that we do in our original research at the Bible Seminary and through the Associates for Biblical Research is establishing the veracity of the biblical text. And if the Bible is true, then we have to come to terms with the fact that the God of the Bible holds a moral claim on our lives. That's the book of Judges. God is ultimately the judge to whom we will all be accountable. Thanks for listening. Stay connected with us at thebibleseminary.org and subscribe to this podcast.